Hello people, welcome to my channel Physio Guide by Divya. Today I am going to teach about head injuries. Head injury. First of all, we will see the definition. Head injury. It is an insult. Means a damage to the brain. How? How it got damaged? By any external, outside physical force that leads to altered consciousness and cognitive problem like thinking etc. Motor and sensory deficit are seen. Now, this is commonly, head injuries are commonly known as a traumatic brain injuries. These are increased in these days due to increase in the traffic and most of the cases are seen as a death only, okay. Incidents, now, now how much rate of head injuries are seen means, uh, these mostly are seen by RTA cases, road traffic accidents, by accidents on the roads. RTA cases contribute to 60% of death, they die before they reach to hospital and 25% of the people are severely damaged, severely got injured. Next causes, how this uh, head injuries occurs means due to any accident, road accidents, gunshot, okay, gunshot, riots means people in crowd engage in violence, okay, mm, hit on head, uh, fall from height, these all are the causes, okay, so, head injury now pathology pathology is uh, of two types primary and secondary brain damage primary it is occurs from any impact means hitting from one, one person hitting to others uh, or with the or beating also we can say like crash or crash on one person into other secondary this is uh, not by any violence it is due to neuro any neurological damage any hematoma any brain swelling ischemia or any infection okay now types it is of uh, focal and diffuse type open injury or closed uh, type focal means the injury it happens in uh, only one area of the brain this diffuse means it uh, happens in more than one area of the brain okay this open injury is very dangerous because it is life threatening because the infection may directly enter into the blood now closed injury there is no injury to the skull only the inside the neurological uh, tissues get damaged in this now focal damage means in this it is divided into contusion concussion intracranial hematoma tonsillar herniation first one contusion in this cop it is divided into cop lesion and center cop lesion cop lesion means when a person hit at the brain brain this at that point only they get infected in this count uh, in this center cop lesion if the person hit at the forehead the pain and damage occurs at the back side opposite side center cop lesion okay concussion concussion means it's a low grade slow velocity head injury it is characterized by there will be immediately loss of consciousness but is regained after few minutes okay they get regained and the symptoms are seen what are seen means headache nausea vomiting dizziness amnesia seen okay amnesia memory loss are seen intracranial hematoma means intracranial bleeding means inside intracranial there will be bleeding okay this may occur either outside means extradural inside means intradural so this intradural lesions are the combination of subdural plus intracerebral and extradural means the skull fracture happens tearing the middle meningeal blood vessels so that bleed into the extracranial extra dural space okay next to tonsillar herniation there will be supratentorial hematoma lateral uh, tentorial hematoma lateral tentorial herniation central tentorial herniation so as a result brain stem there will be damaged okay so as we remember focal damage means uh, to one tissue of the brain get damaged this diffuse uh, means uh, more than one area so this is by the high velocity injuries when happen this diffuse type of axonal damage will occur this is mainly by shearing force which cause immediate immediately damage to the axons okay depending on the severity of the injury the effects may range from mild coma to death also may occur because this is more dangerous and as a result with the help of these associated what are the problems seen means there will be increased cranial pressure 
anoxia, head injuries with epilepsy and locked in syndrome are seen. Now investigations, what are the tests need to be done? Means routine blood examination and x-ray, CT scan, MRI need to be done. Clinical features, what are the symptoms and signs we will identify in the patients? Means there will be altered, uh, means altered level of consciousness first one coma, stupor and BP respiratory rate, sweating, salvation, the changes in the uh, these all are seen and there will be loss of coordination, balance, equilibrium, aphasia, dysphasia, loss of higher mental functions like memory, intellectual consciousness, behavior, speech, okay, cranial nerve dysfunctions are also involved. Now management, what is the treatment? Means firstly we need to assess them. Uh, what is the condition we need to check for airways if there is proper airway supply like uh, breathing also need to be checked uh, respiratory movements need to be checked and circulation blood circulation bp okay these are all need to be hp mean need to be maintained next uh, mainly head and spinal injuries if it is any head and spinal injuries we should uh, protect them by any splints uh, okay first let's see take an x-ray if there is a spinal x-ray spinal injuries take an x-ray ct scan if uh, any focal brain injuries now next limb injuries also we need to examine and take an x-ray immediately examination we need to see gcs scale next uh, pt physiotherapy management firstly acute and subacute stage in acute stage immediately after injury first in a position of the patient need to be maintained determine the prognosis sideways supporting if sideways we need to support with pillows see here if the patient has a problem in sideway chest wall expansion need to be done then make him supine okay in case of severe respiratory distress prone lying is suitable below under thoracic and shoulder and below abdomen and pelvis here now use of water and air beds okay so uh, why this uh, uh, water aid beds need to be given means to reduce to relieve pressure areas on the legs or uh, where it is pressure area to prevent increased tone due to stretch reflex in case of any heterotrophic ossification like uh, example uh, symptoms are pain edema redness swelling and decrease rom if there is any uh, like conditions physiotherapy shouldn't do anything okay firstly these conditions need to be decreased pain swelling these all must be decreased then only physiotherapy must do the treatment improve the awareness of the patient by talking to him even if he is not responding okay sensory stimulations how like auditory means hearing like playing favorite music and relatives must need to talk to him okay next olfactory smell favorite food smell or perfume need to be be applied if the patient is able to open her eyes show her photographs or dear ones or in a dark colored pictures so that they can identify to initiate opening of the mouth to open the mouth cryotherapy icing icing on lips need to be done okay if the if the patient is not responding to all the above stimulus then give noxious stimulus at the nail buds and supra orbital region okay now rom exercise range of movement exercises what are they mean dvd prophylaxis vigorous ankle pumps okay pressure stockings need to be maintained stockings should be applied and chest pt chest physiotherapy given after two hours of feeding after they eat two hours uh, after eating two hours at the p at the time we need to give chest pt chest percussions and suction suction need to be done to remove any secretions okay next next after acute stay acute treatment next subacute management means in this treatment what means if the patient is not managed properly in the acute stage contractors uh, and uh, deformities may develop at this stage position of the patient is much in a way that there is no stretch to the muscle okay mobility flexibility exercises are need to be maintained sensory re-education to increase the sense uh, mobility training okay make patient sit with support weight shifting from one side to other trunk rotation and standing make them to stand using manually themselves or mechanical with the support change in the position of the patient should be done uh, by, gradually to prevent postural hypotension 
ఇంప్రూవ్ టోన్ అండ్ ఆరోగ్యం స్ట్రెచింగ్ అండ్ స్ట్రెంగ్ ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ గే ట్రైనింగ్ ఏడియల్ యాక్టివిటీస్ నీడ్ టు బి మెయింటైన్ ఐ హోప్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ దిస్ టాపిక్ ఐ హ్ గివెన్ ద నోట్స్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ డిస్క్రిప్షన్ థ్యాంక్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ దిస